Hi Aries, this is your June mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads on this mid-month reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at love uh, for the second half of June and it could be new love, existing love, love from the past, whatever comes up. In the second spread we'll take a look at some good news for you Aries for the second half of the month and uh, we'll wrap things up with the uh, third, the advice spread for you Aries for the remainder of the month. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is on love, Aries. We have the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Emperor in the potential outcome. We have the Chariot with the Knight of Pentacles and uh, the Nine of Cups. And we also have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing um, maybe with an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. We also have Cancer, maybe a Sagittarius and uh, perhaps even another Aries. Or whatever your person's zodiac sign is. So in the second half of June, there's going to be an ending of um, like the hard road towards you, <laughs> Aries. All right. Let me elaborate. We have both the world and the wheel of fortune in the same spread, right? Uh, the world is on the bottom of the deck, which could be a, a card of some place remote. Maybe this person is away from you. They could be on on a business trip or what have you. Right? But at the same time, the world is a card of an ending. And I always interpret it as a happy end card. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end. And a much better, much happier chapter of, of your life, or perhaps both of your life, is about to begin. Uh, the third card from the left, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a, definitely a start of a new cycle. Or this card could be interpreted as a card of somebody literally going somewhere or relocating. Right? So it's a start of a new cycle, it's classified by the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles is what this person is going to present you with. The Ace of Pentacles. It's a golden opportunity, it's a once-in-a-lifetime once opportunity. It's the most serious Ace, the most long-term oriented Ace out of all four Aces. The Ace of Pentacles sometimes comes through as a marriage proposal or an offer to take it to the next level, whatever that level is for you. But what's interesting about this is that prior to that Wheel of Fortune, we have the Seven of Wands clarified by the Six of Swords. And I think those two cards are somehow associated with the World card that we were just talking about. So the road, <laughs> the pathway was not easy for this person to get here. Right? Because the Seven of Wands could be a card of fighting somebody off. Right? Maybe you have multiple people interested in you and this person will have to fight off the competition. Maybe the 701s has nothing to do with you. All right? Maybe this is what this person is doing right now before the, um, the beginning of the second half of June. Right? Maybe this person is uh, like trying to fight through competitors if they run their own business right so they could start making more money maybe that's what they're focusing right now maybe they if they work nine to five they maybe they're fighting for a promotion or they're fighting for something all right maybe they have to prove themselves to you <laughs> if they're just one person that uh, interested in you right now maybe they still have to fight you know prove themselves to you because otherwise you wouldn't even consider them right and uh, maybe they are away on a business trip or maybe they live at a distance from you or whatever. What I'm, what I'm trying to say, like I said earlier, they have to do something. They're actively doing something, actively pursuing something, actively defending something they believe in. Right? And uh, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Wands, for some of you, maybe they're now finally literally coming your way. Now they're finally literally able to come to you or relocate or move. Right? Or the Six of Swords is talking about a rough patch being over. Or it's a card of an improvement. Okay? So I think whatever it is they're struggling with, defending, uh, fighting off, they're going to succeed. Because <laughs> the Six of Swords always talks about things getting better. Alright, so now they're done with that, whatever that Seven of Wands is, and now they're coming in, presenting you with that Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. You know, some ser serious offer. Serious offer. Maybe this person is now making a lot more money and now they can provide for you or something like that. You get the idea. In the middle we have the Emperor. That's you. That's your major account of card Aries, unless you're dealing with an other Aries. But I assume that's you. Alright, you're presented here by your own major account of card. It's always a good sign to have your own major account of card in your own reading. In the potential outcome we have the Chariot with the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. The Chariot is a card of victory. 
right? You could be dealing with a cancer, by the way, but it's a card of victory. It's also a card of literally going somewhere, moving or moving in. Um, and uh, perhaps this victory has something to do with that seven of ones that this person was uh, struggling with, all right? Maybe this is you guys moving in together. Maybe they're moving to where you live. <laughs> or And then you can get a, get a place together or something like that. But it is a card of victory and success. The Knight of Pentacles in the middle right there is very similar to the Ace of Pentacles. Very similar, right? Um, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But the Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term. With the Knight of Pentacles, you can always plan ahead. And it's also a very, actually, the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. And the Nine of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a wish come true. It's a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. So now it's going to be like calm after the storm. So you guys can move forward together, enjoy financial ab abundance, plan uh, your uh, connection, plan the future together and things like that. All right? Really happy for you, Aries. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, um, Aries, uh, for the second half of June. We have the Star, clarified by Justice, we have the King of Swords, we have the Chariot, and uh, we have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we also have uh, Cancer, and uh, we have you. <laughs> so, what's interesting about this reading, there's a couple of things, interesting things, actually. We have five cards that we're looking at, right? Five cards on the table, four of them are major arcana cards, and uh, the only minor arcana card is the King of Swords, and it's a court card. Alright, for some of you, it could be literally court. This person could be a judge, they could be a lawyer, they could be maybe a government worker, or it could be a love interest for some of you. Alright, and uh, yeah, if you're in the middle of a lawsuit, by the way, if you got hurt in the past, or if you had to heal from something in the past, I'm not predicting anybody getting hurt. But uh, for some of you, if this is applicable to you, then maybe you got hurt in the past. And the King of Swords is a lawyer and they're going to win on your behalf. Right? The Chariot right next to the deck is a card of victory. Could be also uh, cancer you're dealing with, uh, person cancer. Right? Or it's a card of a vehicle. Okay? So maybe you got into an accident in the past and you're winning uh, with this King of Swords helping you. Right? For others of you, um, it's... Uh, Another interesting, another interesting thing about this reading is that the King of Swords could be any air sign, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. To the left from the King of Swords, we have the star, clarified by Justice. Star could be an Aquarius. Justice could be a Libra. <laughs> Both are air signs. All right, so maybe you're dealing with an air sign. If this person is a Gemini, maybe it has something to do with, the, with their birthday. You could be going on a trip uh, for, for this person's birthday, or they could be showing up or something like that. All right, uh, the star is not only a card of healing or an Aquarius, it's also a card of a wish come true. Okay, maybe you're getting a car. <laughs> maybe you're buying a car or something like that. Um, justice, yeah, it could be uh, that judicial system or government. Or justice could be you're finally getting what you deserve with this King of Swords, all right? It could be karma in a good, positive way. It's as good as it gets, actually, right? Because the chariot is still a card of victory. It's still a card of... Um, you know, just feeling triumphant. The Fool on the bottom of the deck, um, that's uh, one of your major kind of cards, um, Aries, but at the same time, the Fool could be a card of being spontaneous, so maybe you're going somewhere on a spontaneous trip with this King of Swords, for some of you, right? For others of you, if uh, this person is a lawyer or, like I said earlier, a government worker, maybe whatever they do for you bring, gives you a victory, brings you a victory, and at the same time, you'll be liberated. Like the fool could be a part of liberation from whatever it is that was slowing you down, or uh, if you were in the middle of a lawsuit, you didn't know how that's gonna go, so now you're free. <laughs> Some of you, you could be literally free, all right, <laughs> if this person is a lawyer. Um, so, yeah, that's the good news. Let me know how exactly this plays out for you, all right? Let's move on to the last spread, real quick. Here's an advice for you, Aries, uh, for the second half of June. We have the Nine of Wands, uh, clarified by the Emperor. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the King of Swords. Uh, we have the Sun and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, <laughs> I was a little surprised uh, to see this King of Swords, right? Uh, so I think this spread has something to do with the previous spread, with the good news spread. Even though it's a different deck, I use different decks for different spreads. But you got this King of Swords, right? And uh, the King of Swords is clarifying the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory and success. Okay? S 
and uh, we start with the 901 classified by the Emperor. The Emperor is your major arcana card. The 901 is a card of somebody who is a wounded warrior, somebody who is hurting, somebody who's got a reservation, somebody who is a little bit suspicious uh, because they got hurt in the past, right? Um, so the advice has something to do with the previous spread and this King of Swords. <laughs> All right, so the the King of Swords will either help you. So if you're if you're thinking of hiring a lawyer, go ahead and hire a lawyer. If you're thinking about reaching out to somebody who can help you in some sort of a situation, if you're still hurting, then reach out to somebody or find um, find somebody who can help you. Would, right then this person will either win on your behalf or this person will bring some sort of clarity into your life or they will uh, make you feel much better okay because uh, right next to that we have the Sun the Sun is a card of clarity just like the ace of swords by the way on the bottom of the deck and it's the happiest card in the deck the ace of swords by the way also also comes through as the word yes so if you're thinking should you now, trust this person, should you um, do business with them or what have you, the answer is yes. Okay, you may not trust them for whatever reason with that 901s, but I think uh, they will not let you down. They will not let you down. All right, so the advice for you, <laughs> don't be afraid of dealing with this King of Swords. Or if you need to, uh, if you need help with something, reach out. Not necessarily to this King of Swords, just spread, post something on social, right? Then somebody will connect you with the correct person, if that makes sense. All right, I hope all of this makes sense uh, for you, Aries. But uh, that's what I have for you, for this reading, for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing the rest of June.